Hi everyone, so I'm going to go over this example of how we can use complex data um, in order to grab information. So if we click on this button, it says click me. You can see here that we get the title of the book and then there's three different authors for this book. So these three authors are within um, an array, but these books are also within an array of objects. So we're going to see how we can loop through multiple times in order to grab the information we need. So I got a brand new project here. I'm just going to open up a new terminal and then I'm going to create a brand new Next.js project. I'll go to my desktop. And I'll just call it making complex data. You can call it anything you'd like. And for all these different things that show up, just say no to everything. And then just enter for import. You don't need to change anything. And just wait till it's done before you do anything. So now that it's done, it says success. We'll just drag and drop this over. And we will start editing the code we have here. So all we'll do is go to our pages, index. I'm going to delete everything in between the main tag. So right here we have our main template or just the default template for the next app. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually setting up some data. So I'm going to, in the root of the folder, add a new folder and call it data. And inside the data folder, I will call it books.js. And right here, I'm going to be actually adding some books. I'm not going to add too many um, because this is just a demo purpose, but I'll say export const bookstore. We're going to make a mini little bookstore. And I'll say books. And then here, inside this object of bookstore, we're going to have many different books. So we're going to have array with object of different books. We're going to have title. We're going to have authors. And then we're going to have a category. So there could be many authors for one title of book. So this is where we're going to have to loop multiple times because this books is in an array, but authors, we're going to make another array here with multiple authors. So let's first add a title of a book. I'll say this. And for the authors, we're going to add an array here and this array will contain multiple authors. And you can see here that the authors is within an array because we have more than one author for that one book. And I'll just put it in a category of object-oriented programming. I'm going to add another object of information. And same thing, I have put title, authors, and category. And this category will be Java. And I'll add in all the information for this new book now. And again, there's going to be multiple authors for this book as well. And right here, you can see that for this book, I have one title, but multiple authors, which is in an array. So this is where it gets confusing because here we have a book with it that has an array of different books, but there's multiple different books in a bookstore. So inside here, we also have multiple authors for one title of book. So this means even though we map through this one array, we still need to be able to map through this other array as well. So we're going to have to do two different loops, a loop within a loop, in order to grab the information we need. And I'll show you guys how we can do this. So right over here, we have our, our home page, and we're only, we only need one page for this example, 
And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting up a button. And for this button, I'm going to just say click me. And the button, I want to do some sort of on click functionality. And I'll call this function called adding data. Now we need to call, or we need to make this function right up here, which is const adding data. And now here, I'm just gonna do a console.log here, just so we could test it out, make sure it's working. So what I'll do is I will just test this out first before we go any further. I will go to terminal, new terminal, and I'll do npm run dev and make sure my button is showing up. And right over here, you can see that we have, look, we're at localhost 3001. I have my button. I'm gonna inspect this and make sure I get this console log whenever I click it. So click the button called click me. And you can see here, it says here. So it does work, it's connected. And all we need to do now is add a few more things. First thing I want to do though is I need to import this bookstore that we've created in the data folder. And I'll have to import, I have to use curly brace brackets for this because I'm using a constant in that data folder and it's a um, .js file. So I'll here I'll call it bookstore. And then I will say from data books. And you can see here, I called it bookstore within parentheses because I have to call it the same thing I call it right here. It will not work if you call it something else in the index. So you have to make sure you reference the exact same variable name. And now that I have imported it, I'll be able to use it in our application here. And I'm gonna import use state from React. And under the console log here, I'm gonna set the data, or first I need to actually set up the use state. So let me const data set data is equal to use state. And now that we have the use state set up, this is where we're gonna store all the data that's being passed over to this page. And right over here, we're gonna say set data and we're gonna store in the bookstore. The bookstore is what we have passed over from the import up above. And now we're setting the data so we could use it in our use state later on. And I'll just do console.log bookstore so we know that something is being passed over. We have some sort of data. I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna double check the actual browser here and make sure that we have some sort of functionality going on. So if I click on the button, you can see here we get that here message, but we also get, we also get that data um, from our data object. And you can see here we got books and inside books we have our title, category, authors. So you can see authors has like a bunch of information in here as well. Because it's an array, we'll be able to map through it as well. And you can see here, we got another one, authors, category, title. So now all we need to do is actually display this information on our screen. What we'll need to do in order to do this is we're gonna have to set up those curly brace brackets here in the main. So inside the main right here, I'm gonna set these curly brace brackets up and you can see here that we have added our data into the use state because we set our data from the bookstore. So whenever the button is clicked, it will call this function adding data. Once it is called, it will 
do the console, it'll set the data from the bookstore which has been imported, and it's going to set it here in our use state. It'll console log out the bookstore again, and now we have this data variable that we'll be able to use on our actual page and display some information. So right over here in the curly brace bracket, we're going to first check to see if there's some sort of data, and if there is, then we're going to loop through the books, and we're going to say dot map. And here we're going to have to, let's put a variable b and then index. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to actually check if b dot category dot to lower case. is equal to Java. Then what we'll do is we will return some sort of information and we'll have a div. And inside this div, we have to add a key, which will be the index. So then whenever it loops through, whenever it maps through, it will make sure that each div is unique. So we use that index variable in order to make each div unique. And right over here I'll just add the title of the book. So I'll just call the variable letter b. So it'll be b.title and this word title is just coming from the data right here, title. So it'll loop through and grab whatever title is available. And under the H1, I will also have to loop through the authors because, because we're looping through, we have to add another curly brace bracket here. And inside here, we're going to check b.authors and b.authors.map. So we're going to say because this authors is another array right here, we have another array. We're going to loop through it using dot map and we will have, I'll say letter A and I and D for index. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to return. Always make sure you return whatever you want to return or it won't show up. So this keyword here is important or else if you don't put this here, you will not see it on your browser. So make sure you always add the return and I'll have a div. And inside the div here, I'll just return the letter A because that represents authors. One time I'd, it'll loop through all the author, authors and then the letter A is just saying display the author as it loops through. And of course for this div, I need to add a key and I'll say IND for the index. So each time it loops through, it will make that div unique and it'll add the author one at a time inside the div. So now you can see that we have two returns. One return right here, which returns all the books, but then this return in here is saying within this one book that I'm returning as it loops through, return now, first return all of the authors for that one book. And because I'm only searching for if it's Java, the category is Java, We'll only get back one book, but we'll still get the title and then we'll get all of the different authors that are associated with that one book. So let me save this and I'll, you can see right here, in case you need to copy it, you can see that there's a hierarchy of different brackets. I want you guys to make sure you always align these brackets up nicely. Um, you can see that there is an order to it, how, which one's being indented, um, which one's a new line, it's starting some sort of new process. So always make sure you indent those brackets so it's more clear and consistent and looks better. So I'll save this. I will go back to my browser. I'm going to refresh the page. And it says the button click me. I'll click on it. You can see here we get the title Java 8 in action. This is the title of the book. 
And you can see down here, we got all of the three different authors as well, because it's looping through the authors. Remember, we filtered by Java. So the category, is it Java? Um, well, let's look at the one which it is. This is category Java. So we're going to get the title Java Aid in Action, which we have here. And then you can see here in the authors, we have another array. And these are the, all the authors that are associated to that one book. And now you can see here, it's just looping within all of the information and then, or looping all of the books. And then also it's looping within that specific author for that one book.